Uh, we back. Don't play with us, man. We back. Man, it's very, very cold today, so you know how to wear this. I don't waste your time. My name is Hamish Some Time. A lot of people, a lot of call me. Uh, now, River Soldier or Bacteria. Okay? Bacteria, you can call me too, no problem. Or now, River Soldier. Let's get started. So, I don't want to waste your time. So, this is more of the uh, force, man. You know, you have a three force. So, now we deal with the three forces now. They say uh, three forces, if one, if two, if three, mm. all of them they have a 70 neutral. Act an object O. So, let's say this is object O. They have three forces. Act an object O. Two of these forces are 30 degree to the horizontal. Oh, so if this is original O, so so we know this original O means this is y, a, y axis and this is x axis, means horizontal. You know what I'm saying? So now, okay, let's do it like this. This is y, this is x, and this is y. So these guys say two of these forces acting. Excuse me, two of these because we got three forces, okay? Force one, two, three. So the two of these forces. Uh, a 30 degree to the horizontal. So what does that mean? Look, just a minute. So this force acting to the horizontal. What does that mean? Excuse me. That mean, like, let's say the first force is this. Means it has to make angle 30 degree to the horizontal. So let me call this on uh, force one because they say third force is vertical downward. You know what I'm saying? Third force is vertical downward. So two of these forces, okay, so let's say this is 30, uh, 70 Newton, let me call this F1, okay, and another one also, this is X, 30 degree to the horizontal, so I don't think it's a good way to say both of them must be in here, F1 to the horizontal, and F2, no, I would rather draw like this, you know why? Because you want to get the result done. If you have three forces, and to make something horizontal means, by any means, like, if this guy is pulling here, the other guy is can pull there and this other one can pull there or anywhere you know we can say both of them act here and the other one act here does that make sense no it doesn't make sense you know what i'm saying and then how are you going to get the result out? like it don't make sense you know this makes sense like somebody's pulling there somebody's pulling there somebody's pulling the other side so this is 70 okay and they say in another one also it make angle because they say two of them they make angle degree to the horizontal so even this also this is the horizontal make 30 degrees so let's call this f2 and then another one third, third force eight vertical downward oh so this one i can call it f3 vertical downward equal to 70 also both of them is 70 newton so even this is 70 newton 7 newton okay let me call this f3 okay and let me call this f1 me, f1 70 newton also. same with this one so now what we're going to do what do we want they say find the magnitude and direction of magnitude. So how do you get magnitude? It's easy. To get magnitude, we use a little formula. Little formula. Let's see that formula, how does it say? To get magnitude of a vector, so magnitude of a vector, or magnitude of a force, you say the magnitude, you always say sum of all the force of x. This means sum, this sign here, sum of all the force of x, and then you square, also find the sum of all the force of y and then what you do you square and then you square it and this is going to give you magnitude of this force this is the result magnitude of the result so we need to get the sum of all the f of x and sum of all the f of y quickly so what i'm going to do i'm going to say look this force what does it face it face up so if it face up if i want to get the uh okay, component of uh component of this force means look if this force facing this way which is 70 newton or let's call F1 means and this is 30 if I want to get the component means component like for the X means I have to make it like a triangle if this face in that direction if I want to make a component of it because this is Y excuse me this is Y and this is X we know mean so this will be F of Y because it's vertical but a where direction up or down if I look careful this one face that direction means if I want to make vertical means it must be like this so it's gonna face up so if y is going to be facing up, same here. If I want to get horizontal, I mean this must go down here. So the f1x is going to be this direction. F1y is going to be up direction. Okay. So we know whenever you find vertical or opposite, is always sine. You know what I'm saying? Trigonometric can go back. If you want to get anything vertical, is sine. But what you do? Take your hypotenuse always. This hypotenuse, and then you multiply by sine 
of angle which is here. For this case, it's 30. So now we go for horizontal. Horizontal, always remember, is cos. You know what I'm saying? Just easy like that. Horizontal is cos. So I'm saying this horizontal force, which is F1x, equal to cos of this angle, which is 30. But you must multiply by this hypotenuse. Oh, so I have all these components of this force. I'm going to say, oh, I know that. Okay, let's just get them. Okay, this one, if that one goes that way, we say it's going to, this is a component. So it's going to be F1. Y because vertical, but a Y is sine, but you must multiply by this hypotenuse, so it's going to be 70 sine of 30. But for this one, look, this one will go that way. If I make vertical, means it's going to be facing that way. So that's the X, means F1X, means component of this force is going to be take your hypotenuse, but we want to get horizontal or oh, adjacent. You must multiply by cos, cos of angle, angle equal to. You know what I'm saying? So we have F1x and F1y. Now we want to get this one here. Okay? So for this one, we, we have to dissolve also get all the components. Okay? So now let's go. Uh, excuse me. If this stuff goes that way, means if I want to get uh, uh, for vertical, look, this one goes that way. If I want to make vertical, means it must face this way. Look. Okay, so component of this force is going to be facing up. But up means what sign or y? So we're going to say F3y. F3y. Oh, uh, no, I'm wrong. Let's say F third vertical. So this must be third, this is two. This must be two. So it's going to be F2y. So we'll say F2y equal, but uh, is sign because vertical. So we must take 70 sign of what of 30. Okay, this one here, look, this force goes that way. If I want to get horizontal, it's going to go that way. On it, left. So left means negative. Come on, man. We know from the number line, left means negative. Up is positive, down is negative. So we're going to say this must be uh, F2y equal must be negative. And then, since it's all horizontal, uh, it must be cos. But I take your hypotenuse always, 70. And then cos of angle. But our angle is 30. Oh, so I have all the components of these forces. You know what I'm saying? Now, this one, it doesn't have any component, just a horizontal. So since it's horizontal, so we're going to put on negative. Now, let's get a sum of all f of x, because I want to get sum of all f of x, and then we square. Okay, cool. Now, let's get sum of f of x. So I'm going to say sum, sum of all f of x. Now, let me start with this. Means f of x is going to be, oh, my poly, this is x. So I was going to say x because horizontal. And this is x. Okay, sum of f x means add all the f means f1x plus f2x plus f3x. Okay, what is f1x? Look, f1x 70 cos of 30. 70, which is positive, 70 cos of 30. Plus f2y, negative 70 cos of 30 also. Plus f3, we don't have any horizontal force, only vertical. So F3 is going to be also, it's just a zero. You know what I'm saying? Because this one doesn't have a horizontal or something like it. You only have a vertical. So this one, if you add this is the same thing plus the same thing, so it's going to be equal to zero because negative 70 equals 30 plus 70 equals 30 means no. It's like say X plus minus X equal to zero. So this is going to be equal to zero. So now summation of all these F of X equal to zero. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go for F of Y. If I F of Y, we do the same game. So I'll say now, let's get summation of all f of y. So it means I'm going to say f1y plus f2y plus f3y. But what is f1y? f1y means this force here, and it's positive because it's facing up. So it's going to be plus 70 sine 30 degrees. Yeah. Now we want to get f2y. f2y means going up. Because look, this f2y, which is 70. 70, uh, 70, sine of 30, sine of 30, but what's sine of 30, sine of 30, uh, okay, F1Y, excuse me, F1Y equal to 70 sine of 30, and F2Y equal to uh, 70 sine of 30, okay, so now take a calculator, let's plug that one, 70, sine of 30, sine of 30 equal to half of things here, yeah, and then plus, 70 sine of 30.
Excuse me, just want to check again. If one y, what is if one y? So if one y, if one y, we say seven to the sign of thirty, and if two y, seven to the sign of thirty. Okay, and f three, oh, f three, I forgot. <laughs> so f three is negative seventy. Negative seventy. My apologies. I was kind of see like, oh. So if you take this and this, look. Sign of thirty equal to half. So it's like say seventy times a half plus seventy times a half minus seventy. Okay, this is like 35 because uh, half of, 30, uh, of 70 is 35, plus 35 minus 70. This is 70, 70 minus 70 equal to 0 Newton. So sum of all f of y equal to 0 Newton. So for that case now, we can get uh, the result of the force. So the result of the force equal to sum of fx we got, which equal to 0. Or my square plus same here, sum of y equal to 0 for this case. So everything is going to be equal to zero neutral. So we don't have any resultant. I think it's because the force all are equal. If I'm pulling this way, you put that way, but all forces are equal means it's going to stand there. Like, look, man, I'm pulling here with the same force. This guy is pulling the same force. Like, this stuff is not going to move. It's going to be the same. It's starting. Which is different. Like, if let's say I'm pulling this is 20 neutron, and you pull with 100 neutron, and let's say this is 80 neutron. Can you see? This stuff must kind of move a little bit. So we're going to get some resultant, but for this case, it's just like all the forces are equal. So that's why I think that's why there's no resultant. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get the, uh, so the resultant of force, the magnitude of the resultant force equal to zero neutron. The magnitude of the resultant force for the phase one is zero neutron. So R equal to zero neutron. Now, we want to go for direction. Direction always, to get direction is easy. Okay, let's get direction number two. Direction, this is direction, angle meaning tan inverse summation of f of y over summation of f of f of x okay so we're going to say tan inverse what is summation of f of y uh, summation of y we got summation of y uh, 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 zero so this is zero over zero okay <laughs> So, what is the angle now? Okay, let's see. Uh, this is impossible, man. Means we don't have no direction. Oh, I understand. You know why? Because if, if you, if you, this guy is pulling, you pulling. Means there's no direction. This stuff is going to be static like this. Uh, it's not going to move because the same force, the same force, the same force. So, no direction. So, don't say undefined. Just say no direction because you must get an angle. So, you say angle is undefined for this case. Angle is undefined. But now, in common sense, we say there's no direction. Because, look, you pull the same force, same force, like, uh, pull that way, man, I'm pulling that way. Uh, so it's like standing there. So no direction or no angle. So for this case, I'm defined by this now, right way is a good way. But the base way, I'll say, uh, find the result for the uh, direction. No direction, I'll say no direction. No direction. So, I believe you see how I solve. I believe you learn from a mistake, you know what I'm saying? And you learn methodology how to do things, you know. So if this video was very helpful, you know, share with a lot of people and you know always come back, leave a comments. I'll be very, very, very happy to respond to your comments. Okay? I know there's a lot of new ones here, okay? If you're new, you know, you know what to do, right? Subscribe here, you know, and you can share to a lot of people and you know you have any question, leave a comment out of uh, leave a question out of comment section. I can always get back to you anytime. Okay? Thanks so much for your time and um Oh, I'm out. Peace.